Hello, welcome to the Excel Olympics YouTube channel. My name is Gaspar Kamashek. I'm an Excel MVP from Slovenia. And in this video, I want to talk about one of my favorite tricks, or actually it's an extremely useful thing in Excel, but it's also a trick. So what I want to talk about is how to turn conditional formatting on and off. Sort of to have a switch to just say, yeah, I want it off. I want it off or I want it on. I want it on. So a way to just turn it off or on whenever you please, right? Now, why is this important? Why, why is this not just a trick? It actually makes sense. So conditional formatting, if I just do something like this, if I have a, so let's do a rand between, let's do something like this. I don't know who put that in like this and then you say you know if it's greater than then make it green if it's less than make it red give me some data bars give me some color scales and then you know what just give me some icon sets and at this point you know i mean uh what what does this tell me because the whole point of conditional formatting is to show you where your focus should be is to lead your eyes and at this point it's definitely not doing that right i i, I usually use a an expression called glanceable with with the data i i think conditional formatting should make your data glanceable so that you know, you know which one, which one of these are good and which one of these are bad, just straight out of the box. Same here, right? But then again, sometimes someone would just want to turn this off, turn this off, and just look at the data, right? And that's all we're gonna look at in this video. So how to turn conditional formatting on and off. So let's go over here. And the way we did it here, as an example was with two checkboxes. The way we're going to show it here will actually be a checkbox and a data validation dropdown. Now, you could do it either way. I'm just going to show both options so you know how that would look. And let's start. So let's first bring in a checkbox. The way you do that is you go to the developer tab. Now, if you're not seeing the developer tab, just right click on any ribbon name say customize the ribbon and then over here on the right you're going to see the developer tab and just turn it on right and then on the developer tab what we're going to do to get to our checkbox is we're going to go to the controls group insert and find the checkbox you click it and you draw it on your excel sheet now what i'm going to change immediately is this checkbox six thing and I'm going to change that into conditional formatting right so this is now a checkbox that kind of says conditional formatting yes no but what I will also do is I'll right click I'll do format control and I will link this checkbox to a cell it will be this cell and what this will do is it will now show me if this is true or false. So if the checkbox is checked or not. Now this, of course, I can't leave it like this, so I'm just gonna change the font color to white. But with this, I'm gonna bring it down here. And now what I want, if this checkbox is on, then the conditional formatting in this column should be on. But if this is off, I would like this to be off, right? And if I just show you on this cells, we have these two rules that are applied to these cells. Now these two are actually applied to these cells. So we're gonna look at those later, but these two are applied to these cells. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select the cells where we wanna turn off the conditional formatting with this checkbox. 
And then we're going to go conditional formatting, new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula will be as simple as it gets. So equals check this cell and check if that cell says false, right? Because if it says false, that's when I should just remove all the conditional formatting. And what I'm going to do is if this says false, I'm going to do nothing here. So I'm going to apply no format if this says false, but it is a rule that can be true or false. So if this cell equals false, then that is true, right? And now I'm going to use that. Now I'm going to remain on these cells, go to manage rules, and I'll see that now I have this rule at the top that I just created and an ability to say, and if that is true, then stop all the others from happening. So what am I actually doing? I'm saying, if this cell says false, right? If this rule is true, then don't go applying these rules. And that is brilliant, right? So now I have a way to turn this on or off, right? Just brilliant. And now let's do the second one. As I said, we could do another checkbox, but let's do it with a drop down. So I'm just going to do data, data validation, give me a list. And my list will simply be yes and no. So do you want conditional formatting? Yes, no. Now, if this says yes, the conditional formatting should be applied. If this says no, no conditional formatting should be applied. So I'm going to select these cells and I'm going to go conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. And this one will be even simpler than the one before. So just check this cell and check if that cell says no. And then I'm going to do something else because it was also done on the original sheet. So if that says no, I'm not just going to remove the conditional formatting. I'm actually going to add a pattern to those cells just so it kind of looks as if it was grayed out, right? So this is my rule that I'm going to apply. Now at this point, this does apply the pattern, but it does not remove the conditional formatting. Why does it not remove it? Well, because I never said, if this formula says no, then you should stop all the others from happening, right? And now, now I have a way to turn this on and off and at the same time turn this on and off now you might think well how can that be if you just said that if i go here and look at all of this so if this one says no then it should stop all others right then then this one should not even happen why does that happen well because it's not just stop if true it's stop everything in this range if true. So G6 to G12, nothing else will happen in that range. No other rule will affect that range if this one is true. But this one will still happen because this one is affecting E6 to E12. And that is brilliant, right? Because now I can have separate switches for separate columns and a great way to just, or over here I have two checkboxes, so a great way to turn conditional formatting on and off in my tables or just in my spreadsheets. Okay, I hope you love this trick as much as I do. Leave a comment below if I missed something or if you think I could have done it better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.